Hi folks, my name is Tatiana. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Ethereal Entertainer. Today we're going to be getting into all astrological signs, sun, moon, and rising placements, your tarot cards for the month of November of 2022. We're going to get into what is in store for November. That's the overall question that I've asked. What message the universe has for all of us for your sun, moon, and rising placements. So do keep in mind that we do have different placements. So if you have a Aquarius sun and a Leo moon and a Sagittarius rising, please feel free to shuffle through my videos to get your own personalized three card spread so that you can get the most out of this reading. And feel free to ask me any questions down below in the comments about what your cards mean or maybe what they mean in juxtaposition to each other because the cards do mean different things when they are next to other cards. So yeah, let's talk tarot. Let's let's talk uh, metaphysical. Let's talk spiritual. Whatever you want to call it. I like to just say let's talk tarot. But so we are going to be featuring this beautiful, lovely amethyst geode to just bring some intuitive uh, calming energies to help with my reading i do like to have crystals around i also like to of course sage my deck before i use it to ensure that i'm ridding of it any is residual energies that may be from any past readings but this geode is so gorgeous look at that <laughs> And I am also featuring some bracelets made by yours truly. I have an evil eye on the first bracelet and then this bracelet here is a matte crackle quartz which is also a very protective stone known for bringing balance to our yin and yang energies. You can find this on my Etsy shop really soon so stay on the lookout for that. They are elastic, stretchy, so um, yeah t take a look at those when you get a chance. Check out my Etsy shop and Let's get into it. Hi there, Aquarius. We're gonna get into your cards. So starting with your sun position, we have the strength card in reverse. So the strength card is quite self-explanatory in the upright position, but in the reversal position, this has to do with maybe some struggles with our inner strength, and it may be you're needing to work on your inner strength in some way. Maybe you're dealing with self-doubt, with with um, just a lot of emotions going on where you're trying to kind of figure out where you're going, right? You're trying to figure out where are these emotions coming from and how to find your strength and your footing right now, which is totally understandable. A lot of people have a hard time around the holidays and it can bring up a lot of emotions, you know, whether it be issues with family, issues with friends, issues with, you know, maybe just things going on in your personal life that make the holidays hard or maybe just, maybe it has nothing to do with the holidays. Maybe it's just, you know, your, your own timing, your own thing that you've got going on right now. And the key to this is that the only way that you're going to be able to get the results is to be kind to yourself. The only way that you're going to be able to feel better and to feel strength at this point is to be compassionate to yourself. And to maybe if you're working on that inner strength journey right now, it just keep on keeping on. And this is a card of recognition of that that you are putting in the work and the effort to create that inner strength within yourself that you need that's going to take you far that's going to help you achieve what you want and and get the life that you know that you deserve now if if it has to do with maybe just you know doubting yourself and trying to find your inner strength maybe just don't have very much energy right now just don't really know what the heck is up <laughs> so to speak <clears throat> The best thing that you can do is give yourself time 
and give yourself compassion. Allow those emotions to take a little space, you know, Just trying to shove them, shove them away or stifle them down is not going to help. It is only going to prolong those feelings because they're just going to keep on coming up like, hey, address me, address me, address me. And it's just, it's going to get to a point where it just continuously is exhausting. So there is strength in kindness. There's strength in softness. There's strength in compassion with yourself and patience with yourself that will help cultivate the strength that you want to have right now and it's okay to not have that strength that you want at this point in time but it will definitely benefit you in the near future if you allow yourself to be vulnerable for this moment and rather than trying to turn it off or push it down or run away from it just allow yourself the moment to be vulnerable and you'll you'll find that that moment of vulnerability that moment of just raw emotion will subside and it will be quite cathartic for you and you'll be able to <clears throat> excuse me you'll be able to be stronger and come out on the other side of it with more strength the strength that you want the strength in the way that you're hoping to look for and achieve and you know see yourself being more productive see yourself achieving more doing more being happy again feeling good again it'll happen you just got to give yourself time all right so moving on with the moon placement for you Aquarius we have the three of Pentacles so as you see we have three people here we have three individuals doing three very different things but obviously they're working together for some sort of result, whether it be, you know, whether you're looking at the piece of art, where you're lo looking at the model, you're looking at the individual standing on the side. This card is about team work. And this is teamwork in regards to achieving our worldly or material things, things having to do with like business and finance, things with the material realm creating something and this is a card that's saying it is time to collaborate it's time to work with other people and that's going to help you get further with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve right now and you might have some people in mind already or you may be like i don't know who i'm gonna work with a way will be made the universe will show you just got to be open to it open your mind open your heart and you'll find some teammates you'll find some people that you want to collaborate with to create something really awesome and you'll find that it makes your process a lot easier to achieve what it is that you're trying to achieve so as a person who is venturing into small business myself i started off doing it all by myself and when i tell you that it was extremely overwhelming and extremely discouraging oh my gosh it's a lot but when i started to work with other people i started to collaborate i started to ask my friends for help i started to ask for advice things started to come together a lot easier for me there is power in delegation so the three of pentacles it may even just be telling you when in doubt delegate and i say that to myself all the time if you don't know how to do something if you don't have the time to learn how to do something it may be time for you to delegate friend there is somebody who knows how to do what it is that you're trying to do and will be happy to do it for you you know there's power in numbers there's power in delegation and there's power in collaboration so take advantage of it use it to your advantage if you have the resources available to you you know look you know in the car there's three coins right those those are resources those are things that you may need to look around and say hey do i have these contacts this, this person gave me their number a while back do i still have it so i can reach out to them and see if they can you know help me out with putting together this budget or you know i need somebody to make an art piece for me do i have their instagram now is the time now is the time to start digging and looking and reaching out to people because it's definitely going to help you get the results that you want and help you achieve what you're what you're trying to right now 
So moving on to the rising placement for you, Aquarius, we have the Five of Swords. And this is in the reversal position as well. So this card has to do with disharmony with, you know, not communicating very well and just trying with all our might to just be right and to be in the position of where I, I did this right, you did this wrong and proving our point. But in the reversal, it's saying that this may not have been the best way to handle a situation and it may be time to consider reconciliation. Was the reward worth the cost? You know, was that that spat that you had worth losing out the road on the relationship? Or were the prices worth losing out on the quality of the individual you wanted to work with? You know, this is a card of really reflect and think about, was it worth it? Was it worth it to have that approach? And you know, maybe maybe it, it wasn't, and there's not anything you can do about that. Maybe that bridge might be burnt, but this could be a card of saying this is time for you to take a look and learn from this situation so that you don't find yourself in this predicament again. You know, this is a card that sometimes compromise is the better option. Sometimes it's not about being right. Sometimes it's not about standing our ground firm sometimes it's okay to be a little flexible so that five of swords card in reverse is indicative of reflecting <laughs> on how we approach the situation how we dealt with the situation and if there's anything that we can do to you know maybe be willing to apologize if we said something that was harmful or did something that was harmful you know maybe it was unintentionally but you know it was harmful nonetheless you know intent versus impact you know there there's that and you know if we can if we can mend those bridges be be willing to mend them because you know not all relationships are worth throwing to the side if you know we're wrong or we just can't see eye to eye or you know two plus two is four right but so is one plus three you know, there are different ways to do things, and sometimes we have different approaches. We don't agree with other people on the way they do things, but, you know, that's not always, that's not always a hill worth dying on. You know what I mean? And that five of swords in reverse is, you know, that's, that's what this is bringing up and trying to bring to your attention right now. I hope that you found this reading to be insightful and that it helps to bring you a very abundant and happy november of 2022 thank you so much for watching and for listening please feel free to subscribe hit that notification bell and stay tuned for more videos like these from yours truly on a monthly basis also if you know your sun moon and rising it is very easy to find out if you don't but feel free to scroll through my videos and get your own three card personal reading for november for your big three and also, I love to interact, so please comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you. All right, I'll see you back really soon. Bye!